With Minecraft Legends dropping in a few days, why not give out some nifty tricks that the game doesn't give out right away? Who knows, you could be watching this video when the game's already out and still need that extra hand. Well, regardless of the reason, we're all here for the same thing. So without further ado, here are a few Minecraft Legend tips to kick off your adventure. When it comes to destroying towers, you can always count on your army to demolish them for you. I mean, it's better than doing it yourself. I mean, it's not like you can go over and take down the tower yourself. And I mean, you really can't do that actually. I will admit, I spent my time swinging at portals and enemy structures thinking that it was me who was actually doing the damage, but it was actually my allies doing it. In multiplayer, I'm pretty sure I pissed off my teammates countless of times doing stuff like this. The only way that structures can be destroyed is to have your army do the work for you. Any of the mobs will work, but I highly recommend using the stone golems for destroying structures. In multiplayer, or more specifically co-op, there are certain resources that have to be shared amongst players. This includes wood, stone, lapis, gold, and any other of the crafting materials out there. Everything is being shared. Well, I take that back, not exactly everything. Your allies, you know, the little fairies that mine and gather, they're actually solely assigned to you. So individual structures can be built, but you're taken away from your pooled resources and materials with your other teammates. Even spawn units are shared, so it's important to communicate with your partners to know exactly what kind of game plan you guys are forming. Running out of storage capacity? Need a bigger army? How about even spawning in specific mobs to help join your brigade? Improvements will do just that. If you have enough stone, prismarine, and gold, then you can craft different improvements to make your life so much more easier while navigating Minecraft Legends. Just make sure there's an improvement hub around to install these improvements. Prismarine will be one of the most important resources to gather in order to improve your army. To get it, destroy any of the piglin structures you see in the world. They will always be around. Now gold can be located by destroying the piglin gold mines at their outposts, or they occasionally drop by destroying other structures. Lapis can be located after defeating piglins or going back to your villages and opening them from the resources chest. Now periodically, there will be moments where you will see notifications that your villages will be attacked at night. However, if your base is well defended, there is no need to be present at all times. The villages can usually survive the night without you, but this is only if you have defenses in place like archer towers and walls. Other than that, the villages will periodically be, you know, fine. Now I know these aren't the tactical tips and tricks that you may have may not have been expecting, but I believe that these are the tips that can point players into the right direction. And hey, if you guys want to see a more tactical video on certain combat tips, leave them in the comments below and then I'll get right on it. But for right now, this has been Vonnie Barn, and I hope that this video has helped you.